Hi YouTube, my name is Kristen, I'm an aspiring author, and I made over my office. About a month ago, I interviewed and got hired to a new job, which meant that I needed to put off this office makeover. I have been procrastinating doing it for a while now, I've wanted to do it for a very long time, and so I finally did it. It took a lot longer than I thought it would. I definitely <laughs> misjudged and thought I would be able to finish it in like a day or two. And it's been about a month and uh, it's finally where I like it and I'm happy with it. So let's get started on showing you this journey. If you're wondering what kind of weird shit I was finding while I was cleaning off this desk, it's quite a bit. <laughs> so let's just quick walk through. Um, crinoid fossils, raccoon foot bones, raccoon claws, a butterfly wing, hedgehog plant. A bunch of rocks and crystals. Mushrooms. Bloody Stephen King. A doll head. Dried flowers that are shedding everywhere. Oh god, what else? There's the like, smudge kit uh, that I got in like a package once. It has like an antler, uh, some like quartz, and some sage. I forgot that that was there. It was like behind a bunch of stuff. Oh, a DIY from a year ago. It's a fairy skeleton in a book. Um, it used to light up, those batteries have died. I'm still pretty proud of this. I like painted the skeleton guy and like melted his limbs to make them like bent. It didn't come out great, but I'm proud of it. Yeah, those are just some of the weird shit that I found so far. There's more. I still haven't cleaned out the, the drawers or underneath the desk so it's also very dusty so a very nice couple just came and picked up the old desk um which was super nice because i was very worried that no one would want to buy it especially because it's been like really really rainy the past week so i was nervous and would want to come pick it up um because it is wood and you know anyway so that they just picked it up and now i have to deal with the rest of the mess Want to see something overwhelming?
so I'm organizing my bookshelf now and you want to see the most annoying thing about this bookshelf this shelf why is this one so large and the rest of them are like normal sized why why is this one so big I have to double stack my books on the shelf so that it doesn't look stupid so this is the final shelf it looks kind of dumb but it's also good for all these like super tall fantasy books that don't quite fit on the super small shelves that have like the overhang thing so yeah so while i was cleaning in the office evan was building one of the desks so we're putting that in the office now and then we're gonna build the other one and then more cleaning Things are not going as planned. Um, we set up the desk uh, because we needed to put the like monitors and routers on it. And Evan sat down and realized that it was way too narrow um, of a space between like the monitors and him. So it's it, he felt claustrophobic having the monitors so close because it is quite a bit uh, more narrow, not as deep as his old desk. So he hated it. So we're returning one of the desks. He's using his old desk. And then we had to um, figure out what we we're going to do because um, with his current uh, desk and my new desk, it wasn't enough space to have it both in the office um, the way we were planning to set it up. So it took a while, but we figured it out. Um, so that was, that took a while. And so now we're changing things up. We set up and took down that old desk three different times, trying to figure out a better way to make it work. And now we have it, it's fine. Um, he set up the desk. I'll show you when we get back. We're taking a break and getting tacos. Um, so yeah, I was starving. So <sighs> that's what's been going on. It's been very stressful. It's like everything keeps going wrong and taking a lot longer than I want it to. And so it's been a ride and you're ready to be done. But we just picked up some stuff from the store too. Um, we needed like uh, anchors because we have really like plaster paper walls. Um, and so we needed to get anchors so I could hang a shelf. Um, and then what else did I get? I got some things from Michael's just for like decor stuff. Um, yeah, so next time. I update you guys, we should be cleaning. I don't know what we're doing. I'm so tired, I just wanna be done. So I ended up getting this L-shaped desk from Wayfair. And first I have 
this set of drawers. It's from Ikea that I painted green. It has just pens and just like some random office supplies. Don't want to show you because I also have like my like tax stuff in here. But that's this. I also have my Himalayan salt lamp that is burned out. I need to get a new light bulb and a uh, little wood artwork thing that I made. So from there, I have my little gallery wall of prints. I printed all of these off from Pinterest. I do plan on getting some more plant prints off of Etsy. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, a little low on cash at the moment. But for now, this is my little gallery wall. I also have this pen holder from Typo and my Stephen King Funko. Over here, I have uh, crystals and other rocks and some other fun things. I have these worry warts. They're from Karis Cuttlefish. I will link that down below. I love these things. They're basically like worry dolls, um, but they're made out of clay and they're really cute. Up here, I have uh, my shelf and it just has some random like knickknacks and things. I want to get like a big like art canvas thing there just so it's not all like one level but that's that for now. There's currently a like DIY that I made, a mushroom, some like dried flowers, a doll head, a hedgehog, and a typewriter. And then down here I have my work computer and my keyboard. Under there are my work headphones. also have my laptop, boba, and my little window. I use the mushrooms to hold back the curtain so I get a little bit of white. And my cat likes to hang out right in there. His monitors and set up there. And then we have a little space for the dog and our closet. We put this sheer curtain in front of the closet because the closet doors are broken and it's also mirrored. And it just kind of is annoying to have to stare at yourself while you're working all day long. So we put the curtains there. And then last, I have my bookshelf. I moved this a bunch of times trying to find a good place for it, and it ended up here. I have mostly my horror or fantasy books here. So I have my TBR, um, a little bit more TBR, and some of my like horror and like dark fantasy books. Some more of my horror and this was just horror or adjacent books and then we have more like a fantasy down there. It's a really small office. It's actually not a full room. Uh, the size it technically makes it a half of a bedroom but it works. Uh, we both have our space and now it feels a little less cramped that we have our own like sides of the room. And I really like this desk. It is very narrow. Um, I mentioned earlier that Evan didn't like it and so he got his old Ikea tables back. But I like it. I use this keyboard uh, both during work and after work. I just pull out the little USB thing and put it into my laptop so that I can use it for my laptop. And yeah, that, I think that's everything. So thank you for following this journey. It took a lot longer than I thought it would. And even filming this is like weeks after those other clips were filmed, but it is what it is. I really enjoy the office. It's, um, it fits our needs. So I really enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit, and I'll see you in my next video.